Namaste. Welcome. So before we do our sound meditation practice, let me just talk about sounds and how the sounds that this uh, toasted meditation, the bowls in front of me, uh, will produce later on could actually really help us deepen and take our meditation practice to really profound and rich levels. Um, our energy has a distinct sound, but actually uh, it produces different vibrations as the energy um, becomes more, I would say, refined and absolute. Um, beginning stages, the energy will produce that humming, uh, widespread, and um, I would say low vibrations. But as the energy rises up, it goes a little thinner and high in pitch. It's, this is very true, now, speaking from personal experience. Um, when we meditate upon the sound, especially with the bandhas and the energy locks together with uh, the chakras being open, you can actually um, allow that energy to further rise up to the nervous system by just listening to that sound. But not everyone would have the luxury of the time and the effort because that will really require many months of practice of yoga asanas and lots of breathing works to cleanse and clear the pathways of the energy inside the body. And um, not everyone is as lucky as me. Um, I'm very thankful that I have the time, I have the energy and I have the strength to do that. But what if yeah, um, you don't have the time but you have the tools like this, yeah. yes, you can still um, enjoy your meditation practice or even uh, achieve the high state of energetic absorption just by listening to sounds. Um, you may not go as deep and as uh, profound as um, the one when you tackle your meditation with the bandhas and some other forms of kriyas, but just by listening to the frequency of um, the sound, it could actually increase the production of the relaxing brain waves um, we uh, produce inside the brain, specifically the alpha and the theta brain waves, to calm the mind and relax the body itself. Right? In terms of yoga, we call the sound uh, the distinct or the constant sound, the anahata nada or the unmade sound. And it actually sounds like this. So the pitch is high, but pleasant to the ears. It's like hearing the sound from afar, but the vibration and the frequency is really close inside the head. You can actually hear it inside the head and around the ears. If you practice especially um, deep yoga asanas and uh, deep breathing works or other forms of meditation, you could actually hear the sound even if you're not meditating, especially if your chakras and your spine are very sensitive to energetic vibrations. So for today, we will be um, meditating upon two other frequencies. So, uh, the first one would be this. So if you notice, this is low and humming, really deep and full, like the sound of the dome. And this one connects to the base of our spine, around the hips and the low back. So later on, as I play this, together with that uh, constant sound, if you hear the sound, just bring your attention down the hips. Yeah? And then the second frequency would be this. It's a bit high. And this is the sound of the heart or the Anahata Chakra. Or predominantly the upper regions of our spine and the back, including the neck. And then later on, as I blend that uh, constant sound uh, together with the sound of um, the Anahata Nada or the higher pitch, it will produce really intense, um, strong uh, electrical vibrations inside the body, especially around inside the head. So you might be experiencing that. All right, so let's begin now. All right. So some principles keep your spine relaxed. You might do this meditation lying down as long as the spine is open. If you're sitting, uh, have your back um, to be supported by the wall behind you. You can sit up against the wall behind you or sit upright against the back's chair, as long as your spine is open. And the spine is the receiver of our energy. 
it's where the energy flows out. Right? So enjoy, I'll see you later. Yeah. Have an open mind and just breathe and relax for a few minutes.
And slowly just rise your breath back up to the surface and slowly begin to open your body by breathing gently but abundantly inside. Feel the spine open once more. And the rest of your senses return. You still might be experiencing some sounds inside your head. Yeah. That high pitch of frequency is part of the process. Especially if you've done a sound meditation before, it may take a few minutes before they dissolve. Actually, if you are uh, very open, ready, energetically, that sound will remain lingering. Yeah. So it's constant sound, it's ever present. Yep, so even if you don't have the tools to meditation, um, the moment that sound start to happen, the moment you start to hear that sound constantly, at will, if you want to meditate and you just want to access that sound, it's there, um, inside you, yeah, around you. It's always present. So meditation could be a practice any time of the day, whenever you need it. Yeah? So it's accessible yeah, for all. But if you're still working around opening your energy pathways, the tools are very helpful for you to connect to that vibrations of our energy. And the bowls here are really very helpful, or even recorded music or recorded sounds are really very helpful to achieve that state of um, relaxation and meditation. All right, so that's it for today. I'll see you for more next time. Have a lovely day. Keep meditating, keep the practice good and bright. Yeah. Have a lovely one. Namaste.